Today we're taking a look at the equivalent to Adobe's MoGuard files in DaVinci Resolve's Fusion. Now, as you can see here, I have a motion graphic file here in, in Fusion. If you want to learn how to do basic stuff, check out my other tutorials. You can basically learn how to do this uh, motion graphic that I have right here. Now, in Fusion, MoGuard files are called macros, actually macro operators. And macro operators has a few advantages when comparing them to MoGuard, but of course, all, there are also some disadvantages. Now, first of all, to get started with the making macros, the, the first and foremost thing to remember here is to name all your different nodes. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to make the actual macro file. Because what you're going to do is you're going to select every node except for the media out node. You're going to right click and choose macro and create new macro. Now here you can name the macro whatever you want. I'm just going to call it uh, MoGuard macro, something like that, right? And then you see here, you have all these different tabs and this is where it comes in handy to have named your nodes because now you have to find the nodes with the settings you want to be able to change later on uh, in your MoGuard file. So for example, here, I want to be able to change the, the background color, or the box color. Uh, so if I open these tabs, there's a the few different tabs. There's the image tab and there's a lot of different settings tabs, but I'm gonna go into the color and, and be able to change both the red, the green and the blue uh, channel. And of course, I also want to uh, change the alpha channel if I want to change the opacity of the box. I also want to be able to change the text itself because of course, that's the whole point of having a, a MoGuard title file like this is to be able to change the text. Uh, so again, I'm gonna go into uh, here and change the style text. I'm gonna be able to change the the font and I'm gonna be able to change the size and also the color of the text. And there's a lot of different settings. You can look through all of those if you want to, but this is just the basic settings that I usually use. And then I also want to be able to change the DOD, you know, adjustment of the left, right, bottom and, uh, and top of the of the text box to, to match it if, if something's off. And then basically just gonna click here and then uh, choose a destination folder for it. And for right now, I'm just gonna put it on the desktop. Now here on the desktop, uh, I want to be able to put it in the right folder. You could have also, of course, it's just saved it in the right folder, but it's nice to have it like this, uh, the file, because uh, I'll show you in a bit how you can use the file uh, for different stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna press Windows R here. I'm on a Windows machine, as you can see. And I'm going to uh, go into uh, percent, app data percent. It's gonna take me into app data roaming. And here I'm gonna find the black magic uh, folder. I'm gonna find the DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna find support fusion. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into uh, templates. I'm gonna go into edit, and then into titles. And here, you just basically drag and drop your macro file. This is called a dot setting file. And then going back into Fusion, if you open up the edit tab, you can find under uh, open effects. Uh, you can find under effects. You can find titles, and in here, your uh, new uh, macro should be. You just basically drag and drop it in, and here you have your. Macro. And of course, you can go in and you can change all the settings that uh, we allowed to, to change. You can change the text and you can change the, the, the color of the text and you can also change the color of the box and adjust the, the DOD. Now, as I said, there is a different thing that you can use this macro file for. So if you want to be able to change your macro later on, if you've somehow deleted your original Fusion file, you will be able to do that. So basically, just open up your, uh, your macro file uh, and edit it with a notepad or notepad++, plus plus, any text editing program, really. Uh, and then up here, you see there's called macro operator. In, in fact, you just change the macro to group. Just so it says group operator. Of course, you save. And then when you go in back to a Fusion composition, you can just drag and drop that setting file in. And here you have a, a group. And then you can, of course, expand that group or ungroup if you want to do that. And as you can see, you get the exact same notes with all the settings you need to be able to change. So there you have it. That's how you do MoGuard files, which is actually called macro files in Fusion and how you edit them. So uh, stay tuned for more graphics machinery and uh, see you soon.